Greetings, Masandawana. We're back with yet another episode of uh, The Yellow Corner. And this time we bring you the preview of our second away trip of the season and fourth game of uh, the season as we travel to Polokwane to take on Sukukune United on Saturday afternoon. Raps, how are you? Uh, no, no, I'm good, good, man. I'm good, good after an emphatic win uh, against Bextebas FC last week Saturday, man, eh? <laughs> yeah, no, uh, uh, this episode crazy. is proudly sponsored by Max by Mo Styles, a menswear clothing and apparel uh, a company. So yeah, today I'm dressed by them. Uh, I think I look good in this uh, beautiful shirt. So if you want to look uh, as good as I do, uh, check them out on on on, on Facebook. Uh, Max by Mo Styles. Uh, yeah, they, 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 anything you need, uh, Majita, Lelo and Abu, also you can get. Uh, Majida Luna, uh, uh, the shirt, the suit, and uh, everything, yeah, menswear, uh, that's uh, uh, casual and, 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 and uh, uh, formal. So, yeah, man, uh, I, I hope, I, how do I look, Raps? Uh, how bad was I? What's that to you, lady? Why not you look like you're about to shoot a, a rap music video, but yeah, I read our head. <laughs> <laughs> oh, by the way, uh, we actually recording this earlier than we normally uh, uh, record uh, because of the whole load shading thing. So, um, you know, we normally record late, late on Thursday, so that uh, we get the news. The like Thursday, they, they have a, uh, normally have the media day at, at different clubs, so we might miss a lot of things. Uh, 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 well, you'd be surprised. Oh, why didn't we discuss what we play? But yeah, it was. We're recording a uh, much, much earlier and uh, we know but maybe there would be an, an announcement, you know, after that 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 huge announcement on on on, on Saturday. But yeah, hey, Rabs, before we start this preview, I man, I just wanted to ask you this question. Yeah. Ever since we started doing this this thing, any preview, yeah, do you watch game? Like I gave me that like, do you watch it to analyze or do you still watch it as a fan to enjoy it? I think it sometimes it depends uh, on our future. Uh, I I watched the 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 Skukuni game against Richards Bay because of uh, we are going to do no no no. I mean I mean our game star will never stand out. Oh, I, I I tried to watch as a fan, and maybe a day later I watch the the the, the repeat and try to analyze our performance but the game that is playing live i watch as a fan first then record that game then a day later uh, uh, i i analyze the performance yeah you know when you started doing this i stopped watching as a friend and wanted to analyze and over analyze and i stopped enjoying the, uh, the game because i although so i've gone back to watching as a fan and i've picked up on once when I do that, I actually uh, 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 get so so much, you know, from gaming than when I watch to analyze. Uh, yeah, uh, let's get into this. Ups. Uh, how how important is uh, a win against Sikuni on on Saturday? Look, I think uh, first of all we'd want to continue uh, from our last game against Kaiser Chiefs, and I think uh, that victory was very, very uh, important to the team. And I, I'm sure that it's going to boost the confidence of the boys, and uh, they'd want to to continue winning and building momentum from the victory against Kaiser Chiefs. So the victory against Skukune it is going to be very, very crucial, and we'd want to. Uh, get to that position, number one, number two. Collect as many points as you want to in the first round of the league. Yeah, no, I think momentum is key. You know, I think uh, we really need to 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 win this game uh, because uh, not winning this game uh, it means we nearly achieves it. In nearly, uh, it means nothing. You know, so. Yeah, I think all the three points are really important, and hopefully, Magical one will go into this game. Uh, with 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 uh, 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 that mentality and how uh, you want us to get uh, to the first position, you know, once we do that, Liki Fedele they might as well help us the trophy because once we do that, we're not leaving uh, that 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 that, that uh, spot. Let's let's talk about Skukune Raps. Um, are you shocked about the uh, wholesale changes that they've made? I mean, 
uh, they are basically a new team, you know, uh, take into account that they finished 11th on the lock last season. Look, I think uh, they had to, I think they, they, they want to improve. They want to be a team that uh, fights for, for the top eight. And it doesn't come cheap. You have to spend on the market, uh, bring in experience and good players and also release those players you don't need. And I think uh, on the transfer windows, Kukun is one of those teams that has done very well. Uh, they've sent the likes of uh, Mabasa, Lejualo, Bumtambo, and Musia Tlaha was doing very well uh, in the Glad Africa. So I think they've done very well. And I think this team it is capable to get uh, the top eight spot. Yeah, man. Uh, uh, now I am so so. I am so so because you look at the fact that last season was their first season uh, in the PSL. So they, they avoided relegation, which should be the, the goal, yeah, any team that comes into the league. Bro. I was quite surprised when I was watching Gamia Swallows and I see Pache playing for Swallows. I'm like, hey, man, this guy was one of their best players last season. So that 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 puzzled me. Bro. But it shows ambition as well from the team. You look at the signings that they've made, you know. Eh? So they've signed quite a lot of uh, good players. Bro. So yeah, I think they'll do uh, uh, better than they did last season. Bro. Hey, Rabs, what do you think Skukune uh, have learned in our from our last two games? From the games that were not as down the last two? I think uh, the game against Mar against TS Galaxy, I think it will be a reference for them or it will give them an idea how to 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 to, to frustrate and how to punish Mamluki Sundowns. But a game against Kesa Chiefs, I think it will bring awareness to the team how uh, Mamelod Sandals it is still lethal and it's still a team that can punish you by uh, scoring a lot of goals. So, but I think if they want to uh, maybe get a win or frustrate Sandals, I think the Chess Galaxy game it is the one to watch. But uh, the the game that will bring awareness to the Skukune on how to to the, the game that will bring awareness to his cocoon on how deadly is sun is sandals, it will be the game against Kaiser Chiefs. Yeah, I know I agree with you, uh, particularly so uh, the first point uh, with regards to Galaxy. You know, uh, or, uh, the best way of uh, beating Sundowns is by maybe playing a low block and uh, 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 using into uh, playing on transition or using counter attack. That's the your your best chance of. Uh, beating sundowns and I I think Lebanon's Kukuni not necessarily about like low block but they don't press at all like they do not press at all they don't press high, up high probably. so I think uh, that's that's uh, the one thing that they learned Just more so you look at how Chiefs tried to press us and how we played out with great ease you know so uh, I I think I think Kaidano uh, uh, definitely uh, won't won't press probably. Uh, what have we learned from from uh, uh, their first two, first three games of the league, uh, I will go first. They play a standard, standard, standard four for two. They play four defenders. Uh, they play a double pivot. They are figole. They Yes, yes. And then they have two. Uh, 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 Wingers who are fast, who go forward, who are old school liberal, like they take on players and get to the line, cross the ball. They have two strikers in the box. So they are, I want to, 4 2 equals in high complicated uh, formation. Yeah, but uh, but uh, formation is uh, the most basic formation that you'll ever find. Uh, but, uh, and then uh, another thing, uh, the free kick is about. Uh, when they get the free kick on side there, they don't look to play them all into the last pole. Uh, they play them a lot of them, a lot of their free kicks, they play to the uh, near pole, Wabo, like more, more first pole. And uh, uh, so I think Sundowns needs to be careful of that instead of overloading the last pole, the free kick, maybe have one of uh, uh, Onyango or, 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 or when I was also a good header of the ball. More, 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 more first pole because I observed or no, they don't play 
like they don't whip it to the last pole and then buy buy cookies or a bad tire or from that bubble. Uh, unlike uh, uh, a lot of teams who who obviously do that. And like I said, they do not press at all. They do not press at all. They let you play more moral or take a ball or And I I'm gonna say something like like I'm gonna sound like a recording kajima man. Guys, <laughs> go to Masanda on a friend vlog, watch the previews of Ona. The last season, that every game that we play there, it's cool, cool, yeah. and then we we'll hear us say the same thing that like over and over again. Edwin Jima is clumsy. Edwin Jima slides into tackles. He's always on the floor. You look at Goli, yeah, yeah, yeah. King Richards Bay. Richards Bay. He was sliding to clear the ball. So nothing has changed. Uh, 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 Edwin Jima, yeah, well. Uh, oh, like I said, uh, did, did, did not uh, they've, they've got very pacing to uh, wingers in Mukwana, uh, Musia Taha, as well as Tanak uh, Mafanu of Masir. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. But with that said, I won't be surprised if in this game they change how they set up and go into a, a 4 3 3. When they are in possession of the ball, and then four five one when they are uh, off possession uh, and play uh, a middle field three, but uh, they would say I'm surprised. Game is that little. So much interesting this season. They played him as a middle fielder, uh, and yeah, So I won't be surprised if they try and 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 and, and do that. But but middle field, and they, they they're very good at that. And, and even though they don't press, ne? But they shut down the passing lanes. They shift with the ball. Hayaka Muli, they shift uh, 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 to the right. Hayaka left in, they shift to the left. So they're very good at that. So, yeah, I mean, those are some of the few things that I've learned from uh, Sikuku uh, uh, this season. And when it ups? Look, I think uh, they, 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 they have a, a good team and uh, they need uh, to try and get the best out of the team that they have. And first of all, remember, last season they had a uh, uh, Tosten Sabato, who's still the number one goalkeeper. And I think last season he was the, the, the key player because of the saves that he made and the points that he won uh, for, for the team. But they need to, 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 to uh, strengthen their defense. I think uh, Jima has played a lot of season in South, lot of seasons in South Africa and you you want an experienced player to be the one who who doesn't do who doesn't make those kind kind of mistakes. You expect those mistakes from the likes of Nt uh, Nt, but Jima uh, needs to, to 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 improve. And going forward, the opponents that they are going that cooking they are going to face, they will definitely target uh, Edwin Jima because of they know he's clumsy and they know that uh, on the ball he's not that good. And also you mentioned that. They had a uh, Motepe who plays uh, in the middle field this season, and he's not familiar with the position. I think in the middle field, uh, uh, you need to have the stamina because of you are forced to drag back to cover a lot of spaces. Unlike when you are in defense, where you just become active when the striker makes a run. But in the middle, you have to run whether the, uh, uh, the action is not happening in the middle field, but you are forced to run. So I think that's why against Richards B around the 60th minute, he was already tired because of the tracking and the covering of the distances because of also he is unfamiliar with the position, like I've said. Up front, they have good strikers. They have Maurice, who I think he played well against uh, Richards B. Before that red card, I think uh, Skokune will have got a uh, three points because of first half uh, he was dropping a little bit and playing the balls behind the full backs of the opposition and I think uh, he did very well and they have uh, l- l- that guy from Royal EM Lezual who's good yeah inside the box is good and he can make those runs uh, to, the, to, to, to the channels and drag the defenders away from their position. So I think they have a, 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 a good squad and I think they have started okay. I look at their uh, positioning last season uh, around this match day, around match day three, they also uh, got four points and this is in happy about 24 points. So I think it's about a little sharp, but uh, it, it is going to be tough for them to stop Mamli Sundowns and 
uh, they'd want to congest that middle field so that they don't uh, offer Sandals space to, 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 to penetrate. So how do we beat them? Uh, how do we beat them? I think, first of all, we need to target uh, Edwin Jima. Uh, his partnership with Kadosu is still a new partnership. And this, uh, uh, both uh, these center backs, if they can be tested, I think we can get something out of uh, 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 them. And also, what I've observed is that uh, Nico Mobi, once the team builds up from the back uh, and the left winger of the opponent tucks in, he moves with that opponent to the center or close to the center leaving a space uh, on his position. So I think a guy like Gaston Serino should be smart. When we are building up from the back, he needs to be close with Moby. But once the ball progresses to the middle field and to uh, our number eight, he needs to move inside. And, 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 and I'm, I'm 100% for sure that Nuko Moby will follow him and he will definitely leave a space for Mudiba or like he will be playing as a left back. And remember, last season against Kukun, we scored from a similar situation where uh, we, we used the space behind the, uh, 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 the behind their full backs because of, uh, I think, Kim Dao who crossed the ball and we, we scored Hanak Lala got that. So you'd want uh, uh, those kind of situation and try to unsettle their defense by, 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 by making movement and also by forcing them to make those errors uh, uh, at the back. And because of, I predicted that it is going to be, uh, I, I predicted that Kukuna will try to make the middle field to be congested. I think we need to make good movement that will enable us to have a great passing patterns because of with good passing patterns, I believe that we can open them. And also we have said that uh, Mutepe is not familiar with the, with the position. So a good passing patterns in the middle field will force them to shift and open up. And that will mean that we have the space to penetrate and create uh, goal scoring opportunities. Mm. Thank you. Thank you. And a technocrat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. I think, I think uh, uh, when you play against a team like this, you know, uh, that will most likely uh, use transition. You all need to make sure uh, your rest defense is good. And I must say, uh, uh, I was impressed with our rest defense uh, against um, uh, uh, Chiefs on Saturday. And then I would like us to continue really clinical like we were on, on, on Saturday. We improved from how we were last week against uh, Galaxy. We had four shots on target. We had four goals in, in that game. I think that will be very uh, 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 crucial in this game in terms of making sure he finds himself between the lines and he uses that that that, that space, you know. And I, I I expect nothing less from now. I expect him to do what he did. You look at that penalty, that chance he created for Shalom. Yeah. Uh, 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 I expect to find him there and and actually didn't try to pass it as well. Um, I was looking at uh, 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 Laduma analytics. Uh, I was looking at uh, heat map ya Mukwena for game ya chips, you know. What, what formation do you think Sundowns plays right now? <laughs> Usually, Rulan, when they ask him that question, it doesn't mention no Rala position anything. I think, or rather, the game, the, the opponent for the game, or the, the, the tempo of the game. Kyone it decide how we move around Kakamo uh, fielding. But in terms of position, I think Lena answer a question. In. a direct answer that we're expecting. I think or the, the 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 type of the style of play that the opponents play have an influence on how Lohona we move around the field. You know, I tried a uh, uh, noting. Uh, making a, a, a formation, yeah, how we were on the ball. Man. I do not know what formation Sundowns plays. For 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 the first time, man, you know, like what you just said, how Coach Ulani always says, uh, uh, formation doesn't really matter. Like example, how we normally put it. Well, yeah, hey, there's for, a way I be 
yet for the first time, after he's been saying this for such a long time, for the first time, I fully understood what he meant. Like Isheba gave me achieves. Isheba the position that our players found themselves uh, on the ball and off the ball. Because hit map, normal, you think her starting lineup says when well, you think Jani Lemukwe, definitely a double pivot. Yeah? Yet Mukwena, hit map as a, 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 a lot of analytics. So he found himself come on right there, you know, where you expect. Uh, to find a uh, right back, yeah, how did that's where he was for majority of 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 the game, and then you look at the uh, Miami, where he found himself finally on the ball and where he would be off of the ball. So I think it's it's there's coaching that's happening there. At, 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 yeah. at so I would like us to continue with that uh, this game. Obviously, uh, Jan won't be there, so you'd have a a, a blesser. Playing where Mukwena was playing, and then Mukwena playing where uh, 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 Jani was playing because they, they we overload overloaded the right hand side uh, uh, how because you have uh, Mukwena and then you have Mudau who be in front of Mukwena and then maybe they shall move towards the side where uh, the one player who ke- keeps a constant uh, position is one Muteni for what I I picked up on so. I'd like us. I'd like us to overload that side so that we can isolate that side in Lele, like a left in your own, right in your And what you just said, eh? if we drag and talk, him out, eh, more be out, like you said, eh, 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 like Serino Amu Draga, so he's gonna leave eh, a space for 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 Mudiba, Kamole, Wabo. So I think I think. Eh, eh, we can uh, uh, punish them like that. And they were all pulled before Gamia achieves the position needs to be in the box as, 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 as our main striker. He needs to stay in the box. Shalunet, he will get the chances from not only our attacks, but from the clumsiness. Yeah, 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 perhaps uh, let's talk about uh, touch a bit on one of our favorite players, Shika. Do you think Shika should be given a break? Because I think Shika needs a break. Uh, he's not been performing well. Uh, he, you know, Shika, you, you expect him to make the team dance, you know, like, and for him to do that, he constantly has to be on the ball. Yet, when he's on the ball, he loses he loses it, it cheaply. I think he needs a, 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 a break for, 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 for a bit, you know, uh, and he will come back. Ale, 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 ale sharp. What's your take? I, I think as much as he scored against a Cape Town City, but uh, I don't think he had a, a great start like he normally does. But uh, this is Timber's one. I think he, he, he needs that game more or less. Once he performs very well, he will build up from that game. But I, I I I wouldn't be surprised if the, the, the coaches don't uh, don't start with him. And remember, in the bio bubble, there was a game where Peter benched Timbers one, and the next game when he when he started, he became a different player. Like he became the Timbers one that we know. So sometimes I think the bench are too sir, for 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 players to to improve. But I won't be shocked if he doesn't start. But Lance Akala. I would still won't be shocked because of this is Timber's one. He can do mag- magic anytime. And I think maybe this game here uh, uh, is cocoon. Let's start him and see uh, 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 what he uh, is capable of delivering. No, but Timber's one, the thing is, in fact, Launa and Amudrop, you think that goal a contribution? He has two goal contribution wow. in three games. Wow. So, but I think I think I'll, I'll, I'll drop him for 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 this game. Um, your thoughts on uh, Zoom resigning? Uh, yeah, how do you feel? Uh, I believe he's going to be a, a great addition to the team. Uh, I think he's experienced, and I think he he has the players around him that will definitely make him. A, a, a better player and remember when he left Mamuli Sundowns in January that season he left in a season where we won 
the CAF Champions League. So I believe this season, it is a perfect chance for him to help us win the CAF Champions League. And I, I'm, I'm for sure that he's going to be crucial in that uh, 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 tournament. Yeah, no, I was I was very happy, man. I was really happy with uh, uh, Juma coming back. Uh, he's going to uh, bring in one. He's a quality player. You like you can't argue that he's he's a brilliant player. But now he's gained experience uh, uh, from overseas. Right? So I think I think he's gonna bring a lot into this team. And I mean, he's gonna wear number eight. So yeah, we all know uh, that uh, number eight too. Uh, he's number eight player. Uh, Give me your lineup. Uh, I'll, I'll make a single change. I think uh, for 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 Andre Jali, I'll bring a uh, blesser and move table to the position that uh, Jali played against Case Chiefs. Then I'll the, the the lineup will the rest of the lineup will remain the same. Okay, okay. Uh, on 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 Saturday during warm up, you know, uh, Sundowns uh, starting eleven had an extra player warming up in line. So I was, uh, I think maybe in about trial check early, maybe uh, my boss had an issue about. So yeah, but he played, he played, so he played through the game until he was substituted. He didn't show any signs that uh, maybe injured or whatever. So I don't know, I don't know. But, uh, I'll I'll. I'll Keep Williams. I'll have back for the same that started against Chiefs. Mudao, Deru, Nyango, Le, Udiba, and then obviously middle field. I'll bring a blesser for for AJ and keep uh, Mukwena. My fun for will be Mayema, Serino, uh, and Nasir, and 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 Shaluvi. Uh, 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 also, yeah, that would be my team. Uh, maybe 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 give uh, one of Nasir and uh, 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 Serino. 60 minutes, and after 60 minutes, you bring in someone like a uh, uh, she, she got a last date. You bring bring in Lissi. I mean, just mad, like you quite cheap, you got cheap, goes and down. So, yeah, uh, prediction, uh, the winner, Tunil, who's scoring, uh, Peter will score and uh, will get a goal from a set piece. So, I think. If it is a free kick, Mujiba will score. But if it is a, 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 a corner kick, I think I think the hook or Nyang will score. Okay. I'm also going for 2 nil. I have a, a Bido scoring as well. And I have a Nasir getting his a, a second goal of the season. Yeah, Masanda Wana, we said, please subscribe. And yeah, you guys subscribe in large numbers. In, uh, the last time, so let's continue. We said and uh, road to 500 before the end of the month, so you're over 200 now. Let's push. Uh, please continue to subscribe, please uh, uh, continue to like and comment. And yeah, uh, 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 tell everyone who doesn't know about uh, 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 the yellow corner. Now, there's this YouTube channel here that does the uh, pre match. Uh, uh, what do you call this? Kintoriazam. Build up, yeah. Hey man, how's it going, hey man? Preview, man. We saw the limpa let's preview, man. Match preview, that's 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 down. You who make you how to find out? Yeah. You who make you how to find out? Or 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 let's say. Yeah. Yeah, and this episode was probably sponsored by Max, uh, by Mo, uh, uh Styles, uh, menswear. A, a, a clothing a, a, a thingy that you can find. I only say thing and thing thing apart clothing and apparel that you can find on Facebook. So check them out on Facebook. And yeah, I mean, uh, you can find you find the shirt. Ten, 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 ten. You go back to the office. You go. Wedding season is approaching. So yeah, you, you look good. You will see us next week Tuesday when we bring you the preview of our home match uh, against uh, uh, Stellis. Shop shop, Masanda wana. Shop shop, Nogish. See you there.